Mike Deutsch, Sling Birdies. It's training aid Tuesday, and we're here with Richard Matheny from Smart Ball Golf. Good morning, how are you doing? Now this is a really cool training aid. It's got a light, bright array, gives you instant feedback on the impact zone. It's gonna help groove your swing better and let you know. Actually, Richard can probably explain it better than me. <laughs> well, what we have here this morning is uh, the Smart Ball Golf uh, Impact Trainer. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna improve your impact and find your low point in your golf swing. And it's gonna make you better consistent with your uh, impact uh, and your ball striking. People know the aphorism, tee it high and let it fly, but keep, why is it so important to, to have, be low through imp impact? Like, you know, low and slow in barbecue, but in golf, it's also low through impact. Why is that important? Well, if you know where the low point is in your golf swing, um, and there's no other training aid out there that tells you where your low point is, um, if you know where your low point is in your golf swing, you can make better impact, you're more consistent with your yardages, say you hit uh, a seven iron 150 yards, if you're making the same impact every time, you're gonna be more consistent, hit more greens, and you're gonna lower your score. Let's take a look at what happens when yours truly tackles the smart ball. Well, I got a nine iron in my hand, and I'm going to demonstrate the smart ball golf. I'm gonna see if I can, you know, green, green means go, I wanna get that green light. So you see the lights going, that's how you know right, it's turning on. Right, so it's on. activating right now. And you can see the scale. And if you put your hand down here, you can see that wherever I touch the grass, it's gonna, it's gonna light up. And what we've done is we put red lights in the back, we put yellow lights closer to the ball, and then if you hit the ball first, and, and then after, you're gonna, you're gonna get green lights. If you're wondering how that's possible, the, there's lasers that are kind of creating an array here. Correct, that, there's yeah. a field of light right over the surface of this AstroTurf. So anything that enters into this light is going to um, be picked up by the light screen. So if I put a ball down here, you see the green lights are blinking really fast, and now they've gone off, so now it's ready for you to hit the golf ball. First try, guys, so no judgment. All right, really good swing there. Okay, so we got an all green light swing here. So your, the face of your club went, entered the light zone right behind the golf ball. This is what we call an all green um, result. Richard, would you say that puts me in the top 1% of golfers? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, an all green golf swing, uh, you are coming in, you're hitting the ball first, um, and then you're accelerating through the ball, and, you're, and you had a, uh, a really nice result there. Awesome. I didn't even see the result because I was just so right. keyed but into I, it. Right, I did, what, I watched okay. it, yeah. Let's see how you do, though. All right, I'll, so we can I'll, do like I'll a be glad to show you. Okay. All right, the thing about the, the smart ball golf back here is where your, lit, your red lights are blinking back here. There's your yellow lights right here. The more your right hand gets involved in the golf swing, the more yellow and the more red you're gonna get. All right, so here's our light field right here. Um, and you can see it, it's turning red back here. So if my club enters back here, it's gonna be red. And now, and we're gonna get closer to the ball and we're gonna get yellow. And then if I hit the ball perfectly, I'm gonna have green light up. Okay, so that's basically the feedback that I'm gonna get when my club enters this field of light. All right, so let me take a shot here. Not bad, you got, you got two yellows. All right, so we got a two yellow swing, and I tell you what, that was probably my best shot of the day, um, but that meant that my nine iron came into the field of light right above the AstroTurf right here. And then I hit the ball, and then I exited right there so actually that was a really good golf shot one thing i want to ask you about is hand position can often be what results in, in this happening on impact you want your hands to be a, forget what it is is it it's it's in front of you right right yeah. exactly so your hands are going to get to the ball first or the handle of the club is going to get to the ball first okay and the club head is lagging behind Okay. So that's what you're looking for. You're looking a bit for to hold the angle. You're looking for a little bit of lag. Um, that's what the good players do. The pros are going to green light all to, all the time. Yeah. Us amateurs, we're going to get some red. We're going to get some yellow. And what this device does is it hones us in 
to make us more consistent. It's true, because sometimes you hit a great shot, and your next shot's gonna be kind of chunky, but if it's nice to see when you, what you did right so that it's easier to repeat that shot again. So if you green light, green lights read more green lights, and if you start getting yellow right after, you can adjust again and start getting greens again in a row, and the idea is to get as many greens in a row as possible. So let's see if I can do two greens in a row, first oh, of all. Oh, wow, yeah. okay. It's a tall order. I usually, when I play, as if you've seen any of our course vlogs, I have consistency issues. I'll have a great drive. My second shot's going to be completely it, it off. It should or be ready. I'll have right. a terrible should drive. Be ready my second shot's going to be off. Awesome. Okay. So let's see if we can do two greens in a row. Uh, no, no. Let me do that again. <laughs> What'd you get? I got a lot of yellows. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. That's what we want to see. Okay. Right. Yeah. So did you feel the? I kind of felt a little you off. You felt there. the fatness. Yeah. yeah. Right. You you felt it hit the turf. I, I hit the turf before. Before the, yeah. the ball. Absolutely. Yeah. So now you're going to adjust. Okay. Well, basically, all he's trying to do is get to his left side. Yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm shifting my weight. I I, right. I I hit that. I hit the ground too early that time. I did it again, but that was actually I didn't see the result. Was that slightly better? It went it went uh, it was better contact and it went left. So there you go. You've got a four yellow golf swing. So, Preferred the all green. Let's do it yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. You did all green. <laughs> We've both done an all green today. Yeah, so. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, just no, to be no. honest with you, that yeah. all greens are, are rare oh, yeah. for us guys. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Is that all green? <laughs> there yeah. we go. All right, the smart ball has two modes. Um, there's a flash mode, and then there's a mode when you're hitting balls where you're going to get permanent lights. The flash mode is the, the lights are going to go on and off. So basically I would set up and I would just swing with my left arm or my right arm and I would look at the light pattern and I'm trying to get all greens. So all I'm doing is finding the low point of my golf swing. With one arm too. With one arm. Yep. So there's my flash mode and I'm lighting all greens and now I'm ready to hit balls. So you were saying that this is a good drill to do, pretend we didn't talk before. This is a great drill to do before you, before you even start hitting balls you want to start with the flash mode. Flash mode. Right. Flash mode is the lights are coming on and off as you swing. Um, when you're hitting balls, the lights come on and they stay on until you hit another golf ball. In the flash mode, all I'm doing is just finding out where the green lights are. So I'm finding out where the low point of my golf swing is. The lights are lighting up. I'm finding my green mode, and now I'm ready to hit a golf ball. What we're going to do is we're going to hit chip shots. We all know how important chip shots are. Chip shots, you want to hit the ball first. Um, and you want to have good contact. So this is really one of the areas that you can improve very quickly with the smart ball. That was, be that was a better result. So still same man you can else. see where my yeah. wedge is coming yeah. in really low and way behind the ball. So basically I want to move that in. I want to get closer to the ball and get better impact. That's much better. And now, yeah, you All went, right, you so now we're three. improving. Now we're down to a three yellow from a seven yellow on the other shot. And we're getting better and also I hit a better chip shot. So that's what it's all about. In the law of unintended consequences, I'm keeping my head down more. A lot of times I want to look early to see where my shot's going, but I'm curious what the light pattern is going to be. And so I'm looking down, and that's you know, keeping my head in the right position. I'm less head movement, which results in a better swing too. Is that, have you found that with this? That you're, you know, because a lot of people struggle with turning their head when they swing. Absolutely, absolutely. Junior golfers love it. Golf coaches love it. Um, you're getting instant feedback. You're not so worried about the result you're working on your golf swing. Training aids can be used together, guys. I have about six training aids in my bag. It's good for lessons, too. Some things work with students that others don't. But if you mix, mix them together, you can really get the full package. You don't need to buy a $10,000 uh, TrackMan. That's right. If you're not, you know, if you're not on, on the tour, you don't need to see your smash factor and everything. You just want to see what, if, if you're grooving a proper swing. And you can do that with Smart Ball Golf. OK, so chips versus chunks. If you're treating a red light on a chip, which is a much slower swing, you're doing something really wrong, you're probably chunking it. We want you to be chimping it. I said chip it, not chimp. Not to be confused with the chimpanzee mammal. <laughs> anyway, so 
We're gonna have a good old fashioned chip off. I'm gonna let Richard go first and I'm gonna beat him or, or lose to him, we'll see what happens. I'm using a 52 degree grenade wedge, bomb tech. We're gonna try to see who gets closer to the pin using the smart ball golf and for feedback to and reality of seeing what happens. It's a good old fashioned chip off. First off the bat, Richard Matheny from Fort Mill, South Carolina. Right, yeah. It's pretty decent actually. All green. <laughs> All green though, yeah, he yeah. did, did a good chip. Yeah. But we're still at the contest as close yes, as Yes, absolutely, right. <laughs> absolutely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight paces. So you can write down eight paces away. Eight paces. Eight paces. Eight paces, yep. Should be a piece of cake. Should be a piece of cake. It's a nice chip. Victory. That was a nice chip. Victory. Very good. I got two yellow lights, but I was trying to, you want to win sometimes in golf. It's about stroke saving. And I saw that he had gone past the hole. He blew by it. So I was just going to do a little dinky chip. My form was a little off. Tell me about how bad my form is in the comments. It helps me improve. I appreciate that. Um, Mike Deutsch, Smart Ball Golf. We've been here with Richard Matheny. It's been a great episode of Slinging Birdies. Mm -hmm.